Hey y'all, it's me. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different and it makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not exactly as camera shy as I used to be. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Facebook Live and I'm not doing this one live because if you only knew the things I had to rig up to try to get this selfie stick to work, I've never really used those before. Anyway, I'm so excited. I finished my work today in time that I get to go out and play. So it's going to be a great day. But I just wanted to come and talk to you guys. Uh, you know, sometimes you write things and I write a lot, a lot. I know I write a lot. I appreciate those of you who actually take the time to read some of it. But sometimes it's better to actually see someone so you can kind of get their spirit and how they're coming across. Anyway, what I want to tell y'all today, uh, what God has put on my heart, is that even though I post, uh, you know, a lot of things, a lot of warnings, a lot of the not so great things that are happening in our country, uh, that doesn't mean that I have given up hope. I will never give up hope as long as there's breath in my body. I'm here to tell you, God has been good to me. I've been through some hard times and he has always taken care of me, always. And all you have to do is believe and he will take care of you too. So no matter the politics, no matter the disease, no matter how you feel about masks or don't feel about them, I just want to remind you, whether you're a believer or not, I want you to hear this. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Don't have my reading glasses on. This is my favorite Bible. I've had it for many years. I've got it underlined from the past. But anyway, it says now to him who is able to exceedingly abundantly do more than we can think or imagine um, and we're supposed to give praise to him for that what i want you to understand think about the things that you can think we can think about all the terrible possibilities that are coming around when i uh, we were in the uh, economic crisis in 2015 and business was slow, I had a calling to do a short-lived uh, inspirational video series and that was straight from my heart to people that were hurting. I didn't make a penny off that, didn't intend to, didn't want to. Anyway, uh, the point is we think about these bad things and the point of that video series, as is the point of this, is that God can do more than we can think. So we can think that, oh, he'll swoop down and save us. Well, guess what? He can do that. He can do that and more. He can, he can make diseases disappear. He can just do all kinds of wonderful things. Now, will he choose to do that? I don't know. I don't know God's mind. Uh, but I know that he can help us through. I know some hard times are probably ahead. The road is rough. But I don't want you to give up hope, um, to give up thinking about the good things and sharing good news as well as, as the not so good news. So anyway, I love you guys. I love all my friends. I say that with all sincerity. I love you if you are Democrat, if you're Republican, if you're black, if you're white, if you're Asian, if you're Hispanic, it doesn't matter. If you know me, if you really know me other than my Facebook persona, then you know that that's true, and I say it with all conviction. I may not agree with everything you do, and if you take a path of doing things in a hateful way, I do have to distance myself from that because that is just too hard on my spirit. Anyway, I hope you're having a great Sunday. Hope you're having a great day. I love you guys. I don't know if I'll do any more of these videos or not. This is a trial. We'll see. Uh, anyway, talk to you later.